What's up YouTube? My name is Axel and today I want to talk about outdoor portrait photography. As you know, we can't control the weather or the shadows the sun casts, but we can control how we react and respond to those things. So I thought it might be cool to share with you guys some of the things that I do when I shoot outdoor portrait photography. If that sounds interesting, let's jump right in. The first thing I do is go and check the weather. I try to find the best day and time to shoot because sometimes, especially here in Florida, you have a window where it's overcast and then there's another window later in that day where it's shiny and then 30 minutes later it's pouring rain. So it's really crucial to figure out those specific windows. For a very long time, my ideal situation for outdoor portrait photography was shooting in an overcast day. I wouldn't have to worry about the shadows or the sun or the people sweating in bunch because it because it tends to be a little bit cooler during that time and the clouds work as a diffuser. This could work for you, but what I learned is that it limits you and it limits the style of photography that you can produce. A lot of that natural beauty you get from the sunlight you won't be able to have because it's covered by the clouds. The second thing that I try to do is figure out what angle the sun's coming from and angle my model to work with that sun. So usually what I end up doing is putting my model in front of the sun and using that as back light. I love it because it gives a really cool outer glow to the model and I get some really cool lens flares sometimes. So here are some examples of using the sun as front light. You see the harsh light and honestly this was shot probably 30 seconds after I got to the location with the model and this is the perfect example of rushing into it. I should have taken my time and figured it out but I was excited for the shoot. I was excited for this new location and I just started shooting. And because I'm not taking my time, those first 50 to 100 photos and honestly that first half an hour was wasted because of the harsh shadows that came out of it. But here are some of the photos we got after I moved my model and lined her up better with the sun and used the sun as a backlight instead of a front light. You see the beautiful colors, you see the glow that goes around her head and the rest of her body and the natural lens flares that come in and add a very unique element to the photos. And the third thing that I do is do some research about the location before going. I'll DM photographers, I'll check out the location and see how other people shot it. I'll go on Google Maps and see what it looks like. I'll go on Unsplash and see if anyone that has uploaded photos from their shoots on that website. Now it's not guaranteed that when you go shoot, the weather's gonna be exactly the same as these other photographers, but it does give you an idea and you can never be over prepared for these shoots. Especially when people start paying you and you're charging 50, 100, 200, 300 dollars per hour and per shoot. You want to be as prepared as possible. And when I started applying these three things, I noticed that I would get better content out of every shoot. I would have happier clients and I would get more referrals in the back end for more shoots. Everyone wants to work with someone that feels and looks prepared. And these are just some of the few things you can do in your next outdoor photography session to feel and look a little bit more professional. And there you go, YouTube. Those are some of the things that I do to have better outdoor photography sessions. If you like the video, make sure you like it. Comment below, any ideas, comments. What are some of the stuff that you do when you do outdoor sessions? I would love to know. And make sure you tag me on Instagram at ax. That Vasquez, I would love to see some of your outdoor sessions and some of your personal work. And make sure you subscribe. New content coming out every single week. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.